Hi, right, what's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below as usual. This video is entitled Rectifying a Generation Rectifying Shortcuts. A lot of what's going on as far as multiple generations having issues with each other is gen younger generations are left holding the bag to rectifying the mistakes that the older generations made because they took shortcuts not be not because they didn't know but because they took shortcuts what i mean by that is this there's a way to handle your business in a way that it that, that even when you're Dabbling in a vice that doesn't harm the people around you. You know, if you want, if you're an alcoholic, the bills still need to be paid, right? Now, if you're an alcoholic and the bills need to be paid, and the people and your family depends on you, and you spent all your money on alcohol and you're getting drunk and the lights got cut off and you're about to get evicted, obviously, you t the shortcut you took was I'm gonna get drunk over. Taking care of my family. Who has to rectify that? The rest of your family. A generation is like that. I was using alcohol as an example. So don't think I'm just talking about alcoholism. I'm going to get into it though. You have um, a generation of impulsive people. Who made impulsive decisions because they always live for the moment. But their idea of always living for the moment and living their life, sabotage their, their families and children, grandchildren, you know. And what I mean by family, it might be wife, husband, um, siblings, whatever, you know. So now that next generation that comes behind them, you know, why you can't handle blah, blah, blah? How come you can't just come up and do this all on your own? It's not their job to do to, to rectify all of the shortcuts you took on it on it's not their job to rectify all of the shortcuts you took in life so they can get to a place where they can actually get ahead you circumvented all of your responsibilities and threw it on the back of the next generation which leads for if that if all of those can't get fixed if you if if you as a of, as a parent are so impulsive that you throw the weight of all your bad decisions onto your child and then you get mad at your child for not being able to make sure that your grandchild gets as far ahead as they should be, something's wrong with you. Because rectifying your shortcuts might just have them up, you know, just barely above water or breaking even. So once they rectify your shortcuts, now they're building on building for their child or your grandchild or grandchildren. And this is why I say it's a problem because as uh, Brother Camu Camu, I'm tripping, Brother Kevin Samuels, Kevin Samuels said one time, we are, we are a sandwich generation. We have, we're taking care of our parents on one end, you know, fixing all of the things that, that were given to us, but then we're taking care of our children on the other end at the same time. So we're sandwiched in between two generations' issues while dealing with our own. And for some people, it's like, that's how it's supposed to be. You know, that's what I had to deal with. That's, that doesn't look th that way to certain generations because certain generations, people like myself, who were pretty much raised by my grandparents, I saw the, the amount of work put in by my grandparents to make sure my parents got ahead. And I saw them um, blow their inheritance over and over and over again. And what I mean by over and over and over again, there are plenty of parents, who, or grand, or your, which may be your grandparents, who actually was smart enough to, in, a, in some ways, annuitize inheritance. 
So you get it a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. So you can grow as you grow as a human being. Um, you become smarter and wiser. You use the money better and use it for things that it should be used for. But instead, what happened was a lot of people either tried to take a lump sum cash payout and go just be silly or kept the annuitization and basically every every payment it was their payday to go splurge on impulsive ignorant stuff and now when it's all said and done they didn't even look out for their children or grandchildren because they were too busy doing them living their life having fun Woodstock mentality as you know as senior citizens right but but not saying you know oh man I took shortcuts uh, you know but you know just because and let's get into it like this just because you know I put credit in your name and when you was a kid when it was legal and it messed up your credit as an adult doesn't mean you know you can't overcome that didn't say I couldn't overcome it. Shouldn't happen in the first place. And I shouldn't be working behind the eight ball because of that. You should fix that problem, shouldn't you? That's what I mean by rectifying shortcuts. Um, when, I was, when I was your age, we went to school and we got an education. We worked our way through college. You should too. Never said you should. Never said that was different. Never said you didn't work your way. But what I'm saying is it was... Three thousand dollars a semester when you went to college. Now it's between ten and thirty thousand. What's the difference? Huh? Can't hear you. And you got help with the three thousand. People sent you money, clothes, paid half of the tuition. What did you do when it was your turn to to do the same thing for your children? What did you do? You need to get some student loan. See, this is what I mean by rectifying. You were a bad parent because you wanted to be impulsive. So now you're looking at your children like, why you ain't got it together? Well, did you actually raise them to be a functional adult? Well, I was busy doing my thing. So basically you're telling me you got a, a, an, an adult teaching them, a, an adult in age, teaching themselves how to be an adult on their own because their parents were too busy being childish to actually guide them to be productive adults. That's what you're saying? And now they got to fix that mistake while they have children, if they have children. Or that mistake haunts them in getting in relationships so they can't even get in a stable relationship to have children. But People don't want to say anything about that. You know, um, a generation of people who have wealth of information that was passed down to them by their parents, which we probably were raised by as grandparents, and their great grand, and their grandparents, which is our great grandparents, and which would be, and knowing our great great grandparents. And they just sitting there on a wealth of information in. Well, I don't think I never had to tell you anything. Let me get this right. When you was a child, your parents told you and showed you how to do things, right? When, and then your grandparents taught you and showed you how to do things, right? And then if you had great-grandparents, they taught you and showed you how to do things, right? So did your uncles and aunts and cousins and, and, and siblings, right? Right. So when you decided to have kids, you just said, you on your own. And you use, and see, that's the difference between generational parenting when they go, you know, I tried the best. I did the best I could. No, you didn't. Because you didn't do half. You didn't do a half of what your parents did for you. You didn't, and as a grandparent, you didn't do half of what your grandparents did for you. As a uncle, you didn't do half of what your uncles did for you. As an aunt, you didn't do half of what your aunt did, aunts did for you. As a sibling, you didn't do half, you know. 
when you see your grandchildren have siblings, you didn't, you didn't show them to do half of the things that your siblings did for you. See the problem? Do you see the problem? So now you have a generation rectifying an older generation shortcuts, and people are wondering why everything is so messed up. Everything is messed up for, for the very reason that I just talked about. Everybody want to, we have a generation of people who want to dress up like it's Christmas, New Year's Day, or Easter Sunday at church. They want to show up when it's convenient for them, but when it's, but when it's uncomfortable and inconvenient, you're on your own. When they had a lifetime of people guiding them through uncomfortable and inconvenient so they could teach the next generation how to handle uncomfortable and inconvenient and how to turn a struggle into a success. Just my opinion. We out.